Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the five or so perfumes that I have been wearing the most over the last week or two and just tell you what I've really been enjoying wearing and also what I think about these perfumes. There's one in here that I'm a little bit kind of disappointed with and the other ones have all been pretty fantastic so I'm really excited to share them with you and also before we get into today's video I do want to give a shout out to Teddy Blake and say thank you so much for gifting me this beautiful handbag that I want to share with you guys. I am obsessed with Teddy Blake's handbag you guys they have such beautiful bags that are very much inspired by really high-end luxury handbag designers but without the crazy markup that you're paying essentially just for the brand name so Teddy Blake was kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys if you're interested in saving $30 off a handbag the code is TBTSCL30 I will have it down in the description box below as well as a link to this particular bag and when they asked me which bag I would like to share with my audience I honestly couldn't make up my mind you guys because because they have so many incredible bags. A lot of them are very much inspired by or look very similar to the Hermes bags, but I'm not about to go and drop twenty or thirty thousand dollars on a bag that I might only wear a few times and not to mention having to play the whole game of purchasing things ahead of time, getting into a good relationship with an essay and then hoping that they offer you a bag and then hoping it's the color that you want and all of that kind of stuff. To me, I would much rather spend what the bag is actually worth, get a genuine leather bag that is really good quality, looks and feels luxurious, has the same style aspects that I love in some of these other designer companies, but isn't going to charge me an arm and a leg for the same look. So that's what I love about Teddy Blake. This one is the Ava 9 inch you guys and I couldn't decide if I wanted black. Black is such a classic color, goes with everything. Or if I wanted white or another more fun color, something like a pop of pink maybe or even baby blue. They have such beautiful colors to choose from on their website you guys and I've watched a couple of other reviews of this particular bag and I knew that this was the one that I wanted to go with because it has that classic, elegant, feminine style, but at the same time it has a little bit of personality and it just is a real statement piece. And I went with the 9 inch because I felt like this was a bag that you could fit a lot into, but you could also very easily transition it into nighttime. So this bag fits more than enough, you guys. You definitely have enough room in here for your phone, a perfume if you wish, your wallet maybe a little accessory bag to keep a couple of things in your car keys hand lotion like there's enough room in this bag for everything that you would need on a day-to-day -day basis but then it easily transitions into a nighttime bag because it is also small enough and dainty enough and classy enough that you could just very easily remove the shoulder strap if you wanted and just take it out for dinner so I love that you can wear this bag in so many different ways you can wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it crossbody or you can remove the strap and wear it as a top handle probably I will wear it as a top handle more than anything especially if I'm going out for an evening out but I do really like that there is an adjustable strap so it's very versatile you can adjust it to fit your body if you happen to be taller I am on the shorter side and the setting that I have the strap on currently which is the way it came from Teddy Blake is the perfect length for me I think it looks really cute either as a crossbody a shoulder bag or top handle I think all of them look fantastic but I do think that my favorite way to wear a bag like this is as top handle that's just kind of my style it's my aesthetic um, but I also really like the versatility and that you can kind of take it with you on the go so it came wrapped really really well from the company as well it came in bubble wrap as well as another layer of protective plastic and then it also came in a beautiful dust bag and this is not the first bag that I have from Teddy Blake and all of their bags come wrapped this way so they really do pay attention to how well they're packaging it and then it's all in a box within a box so the bag is very very well protected the shipping time is really really fast and overall the entire aesthetic just looks beautiful I love the simple design of the packaging I love the black lettering on the white background it just looks very pretty and very timeless it also does come with a little luggage tag and a little lock and a set of keys if you want to put that on the bag you guys I'm such a noob I don't know how to put this on so eventually I will figure it out and I will get it on there but I actually kind of like the simple look without the luggage tag so that's kind of just an added benefit if that's something that you really want it does add a little touch of personality to the bag and looks super cute and I've seen it in pictures on the website it does look really really nice that way as well but for me I kind of just like the more simple look without the luggage tag it also does have numerous pockets which is really nice it is also very easy to get in and out of I know that there are some other bags that are this style that are really difficult to get in and out of this one the leather is very soft and very flexible so it's very easy to get in and out of you're not going to be you know fussing too much to get in and get at your wallet or your keys or whatever it is that you need 
and also I really like the closure of this bag because it has a magnetic snap closure as well as the two little flaps so it's very secure and keeps everything in your purse very safe I also like that it has multiple compartments and lots of storage so when you first open the bag it has one large compartment with just one wide open space to keep all of your belongings for easy access but then there's also a little zip compartment and then on the back of the bag you also have another zip compartment which would be perfect again for some credit cards or cash or receipts or whatever it is that you might want to keep separate from everything else I'll also say that it is quite lightweight so it looks very sturdy and has a very definite sort of structural style to it but it's very very light and very user friendly you guys I think this is just the most elegant beautiful classic design of a bag I didn't want to go with the 11 inch because I thought if I get the 11 inch it's going to be definitely a daytime bag if I get the 9 inch I can easily use it for nighttime so it'll do double duty and I have to tell you I think I made the perfect choice also with this bag it does come in the version that I chose which is the black on black but you can also get gold hardware which also looks beautiful and like I said they have lots of different colors to choose from so the one I went with is the Ava like I said and I couldn't decide between the Ava or the Kim they also have a couple of other styles that are very similar but I went with the Ava in the end just because I love the overall style and the structure and the shape of the bag I think it's just very timeless and elegant goes with every outfit and I'm really excited to wear this bag a little bit more I've already used it a couple of times and I can tell you that it's very practical just really suits all my needs and easily switches from daytime to nighttime so again I want to give a huge thank you to Teddy Blake for generously gifting me this bag I absolutely love it I actually want this bag in more colors you guys and they are having a lot of sales right now on the website if you use my code you can save $30 off of your handbag and I really highly suggest checking out other people's reviews you guys because there are so many amazing reviews and this bag comes in a lot of cute colors once again thank you so much to Teddy Blake for gifting this to me and without further ado let's get into today's video okay guys so unfortunately we're gonna start off on a low note sort of this is kind of a love-hate perfume that I have so this is the Tiffany & Co EDP just the original eau de parfum and this has notes of mandarin orange bergamot lemon iris rose black currant peach musk and patchouli and it comes in this absolutely beautiful bottle that resembles some sort of a precious stone or a diamond which is part of the appeal it's what i love about this perfume but this fragrance unfortunately for me i find it lacks in performance so badly that's the only thing i would say about this perfume is that it's not linear so it does change which means that there's parts of the perfume that I love the way it smells, and then there's parts that I don't love the way that it smells. So my favorite part about this fragrance is when you first spray it. Um, actually, let me spray a little bit in the cap here so I can relive it with you. So when you first spray this fragrance, that is what hooks you. It is absolutely beautiful, you guys. In the store, every time I would smell this, I would think, oh, that is the perfect scent, and I, I want that. You know, it's a Tiffany perfume. It's in the beautiful bottle. It smells amazing. It's just beautiful. So when you first spray it, you get this burst of a bright citrusy freshness, but there's also this very elegant, feminine, um, slightly powdery, almost vanillic, but not quite, but almost like a vanillic powder. And it's just stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's coming from that iris. I love the way that this fragrance smells for about the first two to five minutes and then after that five minute mark I still like the way it smells don't get me wrong it's still beautiful but the powderiness fades and any of that sweetness and that like beautiful irisy powderiness that's in here starts to fade and I'm left like I said in my previous video when I first talked about this I'm left with a citrusy musky patchouli with just a hint of powder and at that point that's where it sort of loses me a little bit and I feel like I need to reapply. So I have been wearing this perfume actually quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of a dent in there. Not very much, but there is a little bit missing because I've been really trying to give this perfume a chance. And even after it dries down, to be fair, even after it dries down, it's still very beautiful. It becomes like um, just a very clean, pretty, elegant, inoffensive, everyday, grab-and-go kind of scent, which is really, really nice. I just wish that it would smell more in the dry down like it did for the first few minutes which is what really grabs you like i said the first spray of this perfume is absolutely fantastic it's just one of those perfumes that if i'm going to be wearing it 
someplace where I want other people to smell it on me, I'm definitely going to have to bring it with me in my purse and spray it literally right before I get out of the car. It just fades so quickly and I will say it does not have the greatest longevity. It's probably one of the lesser good performing perfumes I have in my entire collection, one of the weaker perfumes, which is a sharp contrast to the Tiffany Eau de Parfum Intense. If you're looking for this perfume and you want it to last and get you compliments, I would say go with the Intense version. This is still an amazing perfume, don't get me wrong. I think this makes a great gift idea. It is beautiful. I think anybody would be happy to receive this perfume, um, including myself. I still think it's beautiful. Um, I don't know, maybe there's a way to make it last longer. Maybe I need to layer it with something underneath. Maybe I need to really, you know, put tons of body lotion on before I spray the perfume. But I noticed that even in my clothing, it doesn't last a super, super long time. It will last longer in clothing, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with the, with the performance on this one. That's the only thing, but otherwise I really like it and I think it's very pretty, but I'm not like jumping out of my seat doing cartwheels or something over it, if you know what I mean. Okay, the next perfume I have been wearing is Fenty from Fenty, and this was Rihanna's Envisioned Fragrance. I know in the comments last time somebody said something about they wouldn't consider this a celebrity scent because it's actually Fenty, like it's Fenty by Fenty, but it still was Rihanna's creation, and even on Fragrantica, it talks about how, you know, this was her vision and what she wanted and what kind of fragrance she wanted. So I still do think this was, like, in my opinion, I still classify this as coming from a celebrity. So this perfume, you guys, is a stark contrast to, in terms of performance, and also it's a completely different scent to the Tiffany Eau de Parfum. This is a spicy, warm, fruity, patchouli fragrance, and this one has amazing performance, you guys. So I have been wearing this one. I've worn it a couple of times. I got a compliment on this one the very first day that I wore it. This has notes of blueberry, tangerine, Bulgarian rose, geranium, magnolia, musk, and patchouli. And let me just take the cap off here. So the bottle is also really unique and interesting. I actually really like the bottle. I think it looks very interesting and different, and it almost looks a little bit like a flask. And then it does have the little Fenty logo on top. And this fragrance, you guys, this perfume is just, I guess the best way for me to describe it would be unique and different and mysterious and also a little bit sexy. And it is quite a sweet perfume. So there is that blueberry in there and I think that's primarily where that sweetness is coming from. There's nothing else in there that would give you a lot of sweetness. There's a little bit of tangerine, although I don't pick up a ton of tangerine in here. It's also a rose heavy fragrance. There's also geranium, which is really interesting because I usually don't like perfumes that are heavy in geranium. There's also magnolia. Again, that's a floral note that I don't usually like in a lot of perfumes. And then you have this musky patchouli base. So like I said in my first video when I was talking about this perfume, this was not a perfume that I would have blind bought for myself or thought that I would love and wanted to order based on the notes alone. Based on the notes, I thought this would be a complete mess for me. Like I did not think I would like this, but you guys, I don't know what it is about this scent, but there is something about it that I find very likable and very sort of addictive. And when I had sprayed it, sorry, I have a bit of an itchy nose today. When I had sprayed this in the Sephora and I was walking around looking at other skincare and stuff and I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it, but I kept bringing the blotter card up to my face and smelling it. And I kept thinking there is something about this fragrance that is just unique and beautiful and sweet and sexy. And I think that this would make a great signature scent, but also would be a great perfume to throw on for a date night. There's just something about it that I really like. Yes, it smells different, but nobody has said, oh no, I don't like the way that smells. They just kind of were like, hmm, that's unique. Like that's different. But yeah, so I don't know. There's something special about it. I will say it's not an easy grab. Like it's not, it's definitely not an easy reach or something to throw on when you just don't know what to wear. I think that's where the Tiffany perfume, like having perfumes like the Tiffany do come into play or Chanel Chance of Tondra or something like that, where, you know, you can just throw it on. You don't have to think too hard. It's just an easy grab and go. This is not an easy grab and go perfume by any means. I really have to be in the mood for this one. And also, you guys, you do not need very much of this. If you spray too much, it will probably bother you. I think one spray on each wrist and maybe a light one sort of misted over the front of your outfit, whatever you're wearing, would probably be fine, but I wouldn't go crazy. This has 
really, really good performance, you guys. So you do get a lot of value for money, but I think that the value matches the dollar amount that you paid. Like this one definitely smells more expensive than something you would get from Ariana Grande. It smells more expensive than a Britney Spears perfume by a long shot. Not that I dislike those perfumes. I like Ariana Grande and even Britney Spears' perfumes. Any of Rihanna's other fragrances like Reb Fleur or any of those other perfumes, this one definitely smells unique. And also the fact that it lasts for a really long time and it projects, I think definitely makes this worth the money. So if this is a scent you like, I definitely do think it is worth the price take. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> it's very, it's just very unique. And there's something about it that I really like. And I was really enjoying picking up wafts of it on my skin as I was wearing it. So yeah, like I said, not an easy grab and go. Definitely have to be in the mood for it, but that means it's kind of special, right? There's something about it. So I do appreciate that about it. The next perfume that I have been wearing a little bit more is Flower Bomb. So this one I've had forever, it's not new. I love this perfume, you guys already know that. This is a really sweet tea fragrance. It also has Osmanthus, and I think there's also Orchid in here as well. And like I've told you guys before, I know Orchid is a created note. It's an imaginary kind of a fantasy note, but I really, really love when they put Orchid in a perfume. I think there's Orchid in here, don't quote me. For some reason, Fragrantica just wanted to shut down on me. I don't know why it's been acting very glitchy lately. Yeah, I love this perfume and I actually dug this one out the other day um, just because I was going to be spending the day with my boyfriend and I wanted just a good, you know, good perfume that I knew I could rely on that smells good and makes me feel good and that he would enjoy on me. And, you know, I forgot how much I love this fragrance, you guys, until I wore it and then I remembered why I love this perfume so much. It is so enjoyable. It's just such a great fragrance. It has this like, it's a very, very sweet perfume. It's very sweet and very floral, but there is something about this perfume that is just incredible. I love this perfume so much, you guys. I know that I was telling you that this perfume smells a lot sweeter to me these days than it did years ago. I think just because my tastes in perfume have changed, lots of years have passed since I started wearing this perfume. So for some reason to me, this definitely does come across a lot sweeter than it ever did. But wearing this perfume is still just as enjoyable. I love it. Um, I really think you can't go wrong with this perfume and I've just been really, really enjoying wearing it. It was just like the perfect, the perfect sweet fragrance. I'm a little sad that my... Um, the little thing at the front there, the little metal plaque has some dints and dings in it, but that's okay because I will eventually repurchase this bottle. Um, the thing that annoys me is the little grenade pin. I always try not to break that off. And whenever I throw this in my overnight bag to take it with me out of town, I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna break off that little pin. But so far, so good. It hasn't broken off, <laughs> but it wouldn't be the first time if that happened. So yeah, so this one... Um, was kind of an older one that I just dug out and have really been enjoying wearing again. The next fragrance that I've been wearing quite a bit is the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Golden. Um, I actually think this was my scent of the night, not last night, but the night before. And I just can't tell you how much I've been enjoying this perfume, you guys, or this body spray, I should say. Look at the dent that I've put in there. I don't put dents in things. <laughs> so, or at least it takes me a long time to put dents in things, but I'm noticing that with my body sprays, it's very, very easy to put a dent in my fragrances. Um, probably because I feel like you need to spray a lot more of them. However, with this particular body spray, you don't actually have to spray that much. I just tend to go a little bit overboard, but you really don't need to. It was actually almost too strong the other day when I sprayed like my normal, quite a few sprays that I do. But I just find this perfume so comforting and warm and cozy and there is a sexiness to this perfume as well. I always call it a perfume. Sorry guys, I know it's a body spray. Um, and this one smells very, very similar to the original Bare Vanilla, but this one has sort of a warm, almost like a toasted almond touch to it. I think there's also tonka bean in here and I think, what else did they say? Yeah, sugared tonka and orchid blossom. So this one also has a touch of a floral component, which I really, really like. It makes it just a little bit more different than the original Bare Vanilla. And somebody had told me in the comments the other, the other day that they think I would really enjoy um, Bare Vanilla Lux. So I'm going to have to order that one because I just love this. And I'm wondering if there's another Bare Vanilla that I might like as much as this one. But I do like this one a lot more than the original Bare Vanilla. 
And I have to tell you guys, I have been enjoying having body sprays in my collection so much because they don't break the bank. You can spray a lot of them. You don't feel bad for burning through a bottle because they only cost, you know, $15, $20, sometimes even less. Um, so I've just been really loving having body sprays in my collection. I have to say, like, they're just, they're just cozy and enjoyable and comforting and easy and delicious. And I just really like them. So yeah. This one I've also been wearing quite a lot over the last week or two. And the next two fragrances that I've been wearing quite a lot lately, and I'm just going to put them together because I've been wearing them probably equal amounts, and I also really, really love the way that they smell layered together, are Vanilla Bean Noel and Strawberry Pound Cake. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that Strawberry Pound Cake in my last video, I told you I did not think this scent was for me until I smelled it on another person. And I don't know if it's just me. Let me know if this has happened to you guys before. The same thing happened with Baccarat Rouge where I was like, I don't really know if that's my jam. Like, do I want to smell like that? Is it really that great? But then I smelled it on somebody else walking by. Actually, with Baccarat Rouge, I smelled it on numerous people <laughs> when I was on vacation. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, that's Baccarat Rouge and it smells amazing like I want to smell like that like if that's what I smell like when I wear it I want to smell like that sometimes you just need to have a different perspective you know and that's what happened with strawberry pound cake I was actually shopping at a store in the city and the girl who was helping me with my clothing was wearing this and she smelled amazing and as soon as she told me what she was wearing I went back to Bath and Body Works and was like nope I want a large bottle because I liked it before but I didn't know if it was really me like was it too sweet was a two gourmand. That's what I was finding initially was that it was just too sweet. But after it dries down, there's something there's something about it that is so addictive and so crowd pleasing and so enjoyable and I just really really like it you guys and the other one that I have been liking to wear uh, by itself but also layering with strawberry pound cake is vanilla bean noel and this one vanilla bean noel is more of like that cozy musky like a warm creamy vanilla it also has this touch of like sugar cookies sort of um, the notes that are in here are fresh vanilla bean warm caramel sugar cookies whipped cream and snow kiss musk so yeah this one's just a little bit more sort of like creamy cozy warm vanilla but layering these two together you guys is so good try it and let me know what you think um, when I wore these two together I got two compliments in one night from two different people one was a co-worker and one was one of my clients and yeah they do smell really nice they do smell really really nice layered together so yeah these are probably two of my favorite body sprays in my entire collection at the moment I don't have a huge collection of body sprays because I'm really trying not to just keep everything that I buy if I like it a little bit I'm trying to make sure I only keep the ones I really 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 love wearing um, and these are definitely two of them and again you can see the dent that I've put there there's already a pretty good dent in this bottle and there's a dent in this bottle as well. So I'm kind of sad that this one is sold out. I can't find large bottles online anymore and I can't find it in the store anymore, but it'll still take me a long time to burn through the bottle. So I'm not too concerned about it, but definitely when it comes back out, I will be stocking up. Um, yeah, so those are the last two fragrances that I've been wearing this last week or two. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what your most worn perfumes or body sprays have been over the last couple of weeks. What have you been enjoying? Is there anything you think I should check out? And also don't forget to check out Teddy Blake's website and use the code, which I will have on the screen as well as in the description box and the link to their website and the bag that they gifted me. Thank you again so much to Teddy Blake and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.